Maritime Kite, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace a slingshot strut bladder with a assembled bladder from Maritime Kite. So the first thing we want to do is remove the tube that's connected to the uh, valve here on the strut. Just pull that off. We want to take an end of our flying line and use the simple lark's head knot and attach that to the valve. That way we can pull the new bladder into place. We then push the valve into that strut sleeve and we're ready to pull it out the tail. Now we come down to the tail of the strut and we remove the velcro closure, open it up and just pull the bladder out the end of the strut. Okay, so we've removed the original strut bladder and we have our replacement bladder ready to go. You want to be sure to order the exact bladder you need. These assembled bladders are specific to each kite. So uh, this one happens to be a 2010 RPM 8 meter center strut or T2. The nice thing about these assembled bladders is they come to the cut to the proper size and shape and the original slingshot valve is already attached. And also they're a 3 mil polyurethane film just like your original bladder but it's a matte finish so um, it's kind of slippery and there's no need to top these assembled bladders. Uh, you're just uh, ready to install as soon as it shows up. So anytime we install a strut bladder we want to invert the head of the bladder just like this, pushing it down inside itself so that as it inflates, once it's in the kite, it will completely fill out the uh, end of that strut. So we invert the head like that and we lay the bladder out nice and flat over here. And then you want to fold this so that it slides into the sleeve nice and easy. Put that lark's head knot back over that new valve and push the valve into the strut. Now we're just going to pull that bladder out the top. Being that it's an assembled bladder, we don't have much uh, excess of the tail here. We have just the right amount. We'll fold it over once, fold it over again, and make sure the Velcro lines up and uh, has a good hold. We can remove our Lark's Head flying line, and we want to pull the valve all the way up so that the ridge on the valve locks into place um, in the strut. So once the valve is uh, in place and the tail is closed, it's never a bad idea to shake the bladder or shake the strut so that the bladder falls all the way into the head uh, of the strut. So just lift it up, grab a section of it, Shake the bladder down into that uh, strut. So we're ready to inflate the strut. We want to do so slowly and make sure that there's no twists and that the bladder has filled out every portion of the strut sleeve. We check up near the head and we look for any twists along the strut. Once everything looks good, we inflate the flying pressure. We're ready to reconnect our hose and inflate the whole kite. For more tips and tricks, or to order an assembled bladder, visit our website, airtimekite.com.
www.thepeopleshow.com.